You want to think you can threaten me with no consequences, enjoy jail time. This is my first post I ever made on here. And I have a few stories to tell if anyone is interested. But here it is. I used to work at a gas station. Me being only 20 at the time. I needed a job since I was new to my area after moving from one state to another. And the job was good. The manager, dot she was awesome. She was the sweetest thing before she left and the manager after was just as awesome before I moved to a new apartment. But the previous assistant manager when I started working there, let's call him Richard. For obvious reasons. And let's call the first manager Angel. Obviously not real name. Richard was known to be a very hostile, creepy ass when not around the manager and made us try to do his load of the work and blamed us for being lazy when we couldn't do it in our jobs fast enough. My co-workers and I had brought the situation to the higher-ups numerous times, and as much as she wanted us to be heard, Angel couldn't do anything, and it came to a boiling point two months down the line on my end. Little fact about me, I am timid, I am autistic and I get very very stressed when someone threatens me with my life. I get very very sick to my core and lack of breathing if I have to deal with that. And I use that to my advantage. On the shift I was supposed to be working that day, I had asked my friend Cross, not real name, if I could borrow his speaker to listen to my music. My manager said as long as I can do my job behind the register and Cross was okay with it. I can listen to my music and I asked specifically if I can borrow it to take home for a couple days until my new speaker came in that I brought the previous paycheck. Cross said okay, and ship change happened and Richard came in. He sees me listening to my music and he asks me to play his music from his phone on Cross speaker. I said no, the speaker is mine for the next couple days and I don't want to be held responsible for any damage. He then whispers under his breath for me to hear but for the cameras in the store to not pick up. I have a knife you know and I basically in a single moment and quickly too came up with a way to end his BS and hash x200b the revenge. I yelled at him loud enough to him so the cameras can pick it up knowing that he would have to say something to defend himself why are you threatening me with a knife? and I kinda had a mixture of fear if he actually had one, and determination to make this man suffer for me and my co-workers verbal abuse and sexual harassment for the past couple months. He backs away and said, hey hey it was just a joke. Chill out and I knew I had to do something because at that point, I said, a joke huh? Here is a good joke. Have fun working alone. I quit, I walked out called my mother who I lived with nearby, explained the situation in tears after the adrenaline and fear finished its end. And I then was told and called my manager to explain to her the situation. I then told her that I knew he had the knife on him, because I saw a pocket knife in the office, and it was a custom one with his name on it. Me and my mom after she picked me up and took me back to the store to talk with my manager, I wound up in a situation with the manager, the branch manager, and the district manager asking about what happened, and I explained it again, calmer now, in full, and they asked if I was okay. I told them, no, I have a guy who has been sexually harassing my other co-workers, verbally assaulting me and the others. Try and threaten an autistic person who did nothing except say no to using a speaker get threatened with a knife. I do not feel safe with him around. And hash x200b. They asked me about the speaker. I called Cross, and he confirmed I asked to borrow the speaker overnight and backed me up with what the assistant manager has done in the past. And at that point, police were called. They checked the cameras and heard me yelling about the knife. And after a few months, I come to learn he got fired from his last job and arrested for them finding out he was in jail for threatening physical harm to a disabled person, sexual harassment, sexual assault, and unauthorized concealed weapon. He wanted a speaker. 
He got a speaker. A few speakers on a podium who put his ass in jail about a week after. Sorry for my formatting. I am kinda new to this and I want a place to share some of the crazy stuff I have done. Edit. Kinda forgotten to add that the police had saw the video of me mentioning the knife. Edit to thank you to whoever gave me the reward. Well played. Revenge and justice all in one. You helped put a bad apple in jail. Bravo. Where was the sexual harassment part? Well done. Jerk it is just desserts. Good on you. Serves him right. Look. Harassing autistics aside. The guy was a creep. Good riddance. If he already had a record and still was doing it he can faux rot. Jail time seems a little extreme tbh. This guy sucks and that was a very bad joke but no wonder why prisons are overcrowded. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.